This is the Module 8 SAS video. So you'll see here I have SAS open. But the first thing I want to do is actually make sure that I have all the files that I need in the location. So here is the folder on my computer I've been working out of. You'll notice we've got the Module 6 SAS, the Module 7 SAS, and now we have the Module 8 SAS notes. Some other useful things I have in this folder are the data set we've been working with, as well as the code book. All right, so I'm going to open up the Module 8 notes in SAS. So the first thing we want to do is import that data set that we've been working with. So here's the code to do that. Um, remember that the out statement, this is telling SAS where in SAS we want to store this data set and it's going to store it in your work library. And then the last thing we need to give it here, this is going to be the file path where the data set is located. Remember the easiest way to do that is to go to the folder where the data set's located. If you click up here it will give you the file path, you can copy that and come over here and paste. And then don't forget you need the name of the file afterwards. So let's run this. You want to always make sure to check your log statement to make sure nothing went wrong. Um, it looks like everything was successfully created. We've got that data set that has 6,604 observations with 275 variables, which is what we saw in the last videos. Now the variable that I'm going to look at in this video is the sleep time variable. So let's go to our code book and take a look at that. So this code book's pretty big. So as a reminder, one way that you can navigate the code book a little bit easier is if you hit control F on your keyboard, it's going to open up a search bar up here at the top. And I'm interested in the sleep variable. So I'm going to type in sleep and it's going to bring up all the times that the word sleep appears in the document and I can kind of go through those and find what I need. Well, the first one that appears is actually the one that I need. Um, it's the question that asks people, how much time do you sleep? And so looking through here, we can see the variable name is sleep time one. And here are the different values that people gave. So notice that some people gave a number between one to 24. Um, some people said they don't know or they weren't sure. Some people refused to answer. And then there are some missing values as well. So what I would like to do in summarizing this variable, I actually only want to summarize the responses that people gave me that were for values 1 through 24. And so to do that, if we go back to SAS, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new variable onto my data set. And so this code right here does that. So the first thing I'm going to do is tell it the name of the data set. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it the same name as the data set I'm working with, and that is going to overwrite my current data set. So one thing that you could do is you could do underscore v2 to do version 2, so that way you don't overwrite your original data set. The next line of code, what that does is it says set the current data set you're working with. So the data set we've been working with is this one. So the new data set we're creating, it's going to start by making it the old one. So in other words, it's going to keep all that stuff. And now I'm going to add that new variable. I'm going to call it sleep hour. And for right now, I'm just going to set it equal to the original variable that we had. So the new variable sleep time will have the exact same values as the old sleep time. But then what I'm going to do in this next line of code is I'm going to say if sleep is greater than 24, I want you to set it equal to a missing value. In other words, I want to get rid of all those 99s and 77s. So that's what this line of code is doing. Uh, remember that the period in SAS represents a missing value. So in other words, it's saying if you find a 77 or a 99, I just want you to change that over to a missing value for this variable. So let's run this. All right, so again, checking our log, everything looks good here. So now what has happened is if we were to actually open this data set in SAS, there would be this new variable at the very end called sleep underscore hour. And it would store all the values from 1 to 24. And if somebody um, answered something other than one of those, we set it equal to a missing value. Very similar to what we did in the previous modules notes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to calculate um, some of those um, summary values for this variable sleep. And so the first way I'm going to do that is by using the PROC mean statement. And so that's this one right here. So I'm going to tell it the data set I want it to work with. And then VAR, what that statement's doing is it's telling it which variable we want to summarize. And we want to summarize that new one we just created. So let's run this. So here is 
the summary that we get. We don't get a whole lot from the PROC mean statement, but we do get n is equal to 6,505. So notice this is smaller than that 6,600 number we saw earlier. The difference between these two is SAS is only calculating um, the mean, the standard deviation, the min, and the maximum for those values that weren't missing for that variable sleep hour. And so remember, we got rid of all those 77s and 99s. And so we'll see here the minimum is 1 and the maximum is 24. So somebody claims they sleep 24 hours on average in a day. All right, so we might want some more information from that. And we're going to use what's called the PROC univariate statement pretty much the same line of code except we replace univariate with means. So univariate meaning single variable summary. Now this summary is going to give us a lot of information. We're not going to need all of it. So let's run this. And notice we get a whole bunch of information here. So let's look at some of the pieces that we need. The one you're going to want to look at the most is going to be the basic statistical measures. So notice here it gives us our three measures of centrality, the mean, the median, and mode. We see on average people responded about 6.9, the median was 7, those are very close. And we see the most common answer was 8. In terms of variability, we get our standard deviation, our variance, the range, and that inner quartile that we looked at in the notes. Now up top with the moments, you do get the mean and the standard deviation, but the rest of these we haven't talked about yet. Same thing with the test for location, we can ignore that you do get your different quantiles or quantiles and quartiles here. So remember um, Q1 and Q3 in the median, those were our three quartiles and they're given here in the middle. SAS also determines some extreme observations for you that you could go and look at and say, hey, you know, why are these extreme? What's going on here? Are these outliers? And then we find out about how many missing values we have. And so notice here, um, we have that information. Now the last thing we're going to look at is how to create a box plot in SAS and we're going to use the PROC SG plot procedure. We've seen this procedure before. Notice here the V box, that's what's going to tell to make a vertical box plot. So let's run this. All right, so here's our vertical box plot. We've got our outliers are denoted here. Additionally, we've got our Q1, our median and our Q3, and then our lowest and largest observations, which are not considered to be outliers. Now, just like with the other plots that you saw in SAS, you could add a title to this, you could change the labels on your axes, just like you did back in module seven um, video. Now, as always, as a reminder, these videos are meant to just give you the basic code that you need um, to summarize your variables for your report drafts as well as your worksheets. You're going to come across problems and things that you need to do based on your individual variables in your data. So as you have those questions, you know, feel free to post to the discussion board, ask for help with those. Um, on uh, Canvas, I do have a page that is the SAS help page. It's got a lot of helpful links that have more detailed information, as well as any time that somebody requests code on how to do something, that will also be posted there.